So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. I say that because it's only a single line long. And typically on this test, if you're one to three lines long, it means you're going to simplify. So what is it that I have to simplify? Well, the question tells me that I have this expression or this equation, x squared plus 2x equals 8. Now, I cannot solve that in the state that it's in, so I'm going to rearrange things here by subtracting 8 from both sides so that I get this as a trinomial equaling 0, right? So hopefully that looks familiar to you from school. Um, if not, just, you know, always make a habit of setting. If you have three terms, um, one of those terms being on the right-hand side, just bring it over to the left to make it a trinomial, especially if you have a, power, a second power here. That's kind of the, the key or the, the hint that you need to do that. So how do I factor this? How do I simplify x squared plus 2x minus 8? Well, there is uh, something called, that I call at least reverse FOIL. And I'm going to do this, but then I'm going to show you another way to solve this question that's a lot simpler. Um, so I'm going to say, well, in order to get x squared plus 2x minus 8, I need to have an x in both of my first positions here. Right? So again, this is coming from FOIL. <clears throat> which hopefully sounds familiar to you. And then how do I get two numbers here that multiply to equal negative 8 but add up to positive 2? Well, that's going to be a plus 4 and a minus 2, right? Because 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, which is what I want. And 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2, which is also what I want. So now that I have these two binomials, I can say, well, x plus 4 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So therefore, x equals negative 4, and x equals positive 2, and therefore my answer is choice A. Now, I like to show another way to solve this because I recognize that not everyone is great at doing this factoring, although, you know, if you're not good at it, I do think you should practice it. But there is an alternative here. So the alternative to the simplify method here is plug in answers. So how do I know I can use that strategy? Well, the question is asking for the values of x. I see x is the only variable in the equation here. So all of these numbers, right, represent x values. So again, if I start over with x squared plus 2x equals 8, and I instead use the plug-in answer strategy, I would see that when I test choice A, well, choice A says that x is equal to negative 4. Well, if x equal negative 4, I could... I should be able to plug it in for x and get a true statement. So I shouldn't have put equals. That's a plus sign. Negative 4 squared plus 2 times instead of x, right? Negative 4 should equal 8. Well, let's see. Negative 4 squared. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. 2 times negative 4 is 8, or negative 8, I'm sorry. And 16 minus 8 does, in fact, equal 8. So that takes here my negative 4. And then Answer choice A also says that x should be able to equal 2. So I just do the same thing. Instead of x squared, I have 2 squared. Instead of 2 times x, I have 2 times 2. And that's going to equal 8. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. That is also a true statement. And therefore, again, I've just confirmed that choice A must be correct. Now, if the solution set that was given in choice A happened to have been down at choice C or D or E. That just means we would have tried answer choice A, plug the numbers in for that answer, and they would not work. And then the same for B, the same for C, right? So it's not that, we, not that answer choice A will always give you the correct answer when you plug in answers. Although, from my experience, it does happen more than you would think. Um, but it does mean that we just go through the same process, right? We try negative 2 when we try 0, and we find that that doesn't, that doesn't work at all. We try, we would already know the negative 2 didn't work, so we try 4, right? So you, would, you just keep trying until you find the numbers that once plugged in give you what you expect based upon what the question told you.